ECOWAS defense chiefs propose $2.6 billion budget. Defense chiefs from the Economic Community of West African States last Thursday conveyed and discussed the proposal of $2.6 billion, $2.6 billion budget for activating the sub-region standby force. The standby force is meant to contain terrorism and unconstitutional change of government with the region planning to deploy a 5,000 strong standby force to fight the region's worsening security crisis, a measure that analysts say might not work due to challenges of funding and division within the regional bloc. The plan, which will cost $2.6 billion annually, was also aimed at preventing further coups following a strange of military takeovers destabilizing the region. Nigeria's Defense Minister Mohamed Badara said during the meeting. I would like us to listen to this analyst, what he has to say, before I add my little sense to this. Why is it not functioning? It is because of the, the same reason that it's not functioning that will make this uh, proposal, right. if they are using it to, to bring, uh, to go and fortify themselves or, or you know, show up uh, 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 perpetuity or elongation of power, it is also not going to work. The money is not there. Let them channel funds to, you know, development. Channel funds to helping, the, looking into the needs of the people. The social and economic um, uh, uh, projects, priorities, your hospitals, schools, food on the table. Food security is a, a crisis. I haven't seen them talk, uh, talk about it. Who can feed? The, the, uh, uh, food, you know, inflation has, uh, it, it has gone um, haywire. The common man cannot uh, uh, exist anymore. And you are talking about going to use money to go and buy weapons and then to deploy some boy, people so that they will go and fight um, uh, uh, unconstitutional change of government. When you know the cost, why don't you address the cost? You heard him. Everything he pointed out here, he made t too many sense. You know the cost. ECOWAS, you know the cost. Why don't you address the cost? You're talking about, the, you're addressing the, the symptoms. What are the symptoms of coup? Bad governance. I have always said this. If the leaders are doing well, nobody will plan to overthrow them. Bad governance. That is the symptom of coup. Yes. You're planning to, you're planning to, you're budgeting $2.6 billion for, for, for security. Standby force that will fight against security and then to elongate your stays in power. Can you just imagine to deploy 5,000 strong standby force to fight regions worsening security crisis and also preventing further coup? You've not thought, you've not, you've not thought about fighting the symptoms you've not thought about handling taking care of addressing the symptoms of this coup what is what is the cause of it what are the symptoms you want to go and start if well like this analyst rightly said the money is not even there when you when you all you all in that echo was you all are depending on international funding so where are you going to get the money from in the first place Except your international fathers will even fund it for you. Apart from that, the money is not even there. Like this analyst rightly said, I'm putting him. And that is the truth. The money is not even there. My last word and advice for you, ECOWAS, is for all the countries that had coup, they've moved on. Look inwards. Look inwards and address the symptoms of this coup. Looking was and address the symptoms of this insecurity. Address them. Address them and do better. What you're chasing is not the cause of the problem. Address the symptoms of the school. Leaders, leaders, African leaders should wake up and do better. You, are, you all are not doing well. That is it. When you address a problem from the root, 
it will stop. There will not be a reoccurrence. Thank you again for your time with me. I don't take it for granted. Hope to see you in my next as I bring your way again. More trending news. Bye.